learning more. Aaron, what are you doing? I'm pretending to be a tornado. I know a tornado spins, but what is a tornado? A tornado is a rapidly spinning tube of air. It begins at the base of a thunderstorm and reaches down to the Earth's surface. It touches both the ground and the cloud above. Tornadoes can also be called cyclones or twisters. Ah, so that's why my favourite bonfire ride is called the cyclone because it spins round just like a tornado. Exactly! But how do tornadoes form? Most tornadoes form from thunderstorms. You need warm, moist air and cold, dry air. When these two air types meet, they may start to form a tornado. A change in wind direction way high up in the sky makes the air swirl. Air rising up from the ground pushes the swirling air and tips it over. The funnel of swirling air begins to suck up more warm air from the ground. The funnel grows longer and stretches towards the ground. When the funnel touches the ground, it becomes a tornado. So it is all about different types of air meeting. A bit like hurricanes too. Yes, I suppose you are right. Only hurricanes usually form over the ocean. Sometimes hurricanes can create tornadoes too. Didn't all that spinning make you dizzy? Is that really what a tornado looks like? Yes. I suppose my head is spinning a bit. Tornadoes can appear as a funnel shape or in a thin rope-like shape. Some have a smoky look to them and others contain multiple vortices, which are small, individual tornadoes spinning around. Others may be nearly invisible with swirling dust as the only way to see them happening. How do tornadoes stop? Actually, it is not fully understood how exactly tornadoes form, grow and die. Tornado researchers are still trying to solve the tornado puzzle. This is definitely like a comic book. Who can solve the puzzle and stop James the Invisible Tornado? You are really enjoying this. You will be getting dizzy too. Have you ever heard of a supercell thunderstorm? What is a supercell thunderstorm? Supercell thunderstorms are the largest, most severe, class of single cell thunderstorm. These storms usually produce lots of hail, torrential rain and strong winds. Supercell thunderstorms can produce violent tornadoes with winds exceeding 200 miles per hour. 200 miles per hour? I could be an invisible 200 miles per hour tornado! Wow! Here is another power for you. Different types of tornado powers. You could also be a water spout. A water spout? A water spout is just a weak tornado that forms over the water. They are most common along the Gulf Coast. Water spouts can sometimes move inland, causing damage and injuries. Or a land spout. This is a very weak tornado. It is the land equivalent of a water spout. 
No, they wouldn't be powerful enough. Well, what about the dust devil? That sounds more like it. What is a dust devil? A dust devil generally forms in the hot sun during the late morning or the early afternoon hours. These are mostly harmless whirlwinds and are triggered by light desert breezes that create a swirling dust with speed rarely over 70 miles per hour. These differ from tornadoes in that they are not attached to a thunderstorm or any cloud and are usually very weak. No, too slow. This sounds scarier than it is. Do they cause much damage? Not usually. But how are tornadoes measured? The Fujita scale is a common way of measuring the strength of tornadoes. The scale ranges from F0 tornadoes that cause minimal damage through to F5 tornadoes which cause massive damage. F0 40 to 72 miles per hour. Light damage. Branches broken off trees. Minor roof damage. F1 73 miles per hour to 112 miles per hour. Moderate damage. Trees snap. Mobile homes pushed over. Roofs damaged. F2 113 to 157 miles per hour. Considerable damage. Mobile homes demolished. Trees uprooted. Strong built homes on roof. F3 158 to 206 miles per hour. Severe damage. Tree is overturned. Cars lifted off the ground. Strong built homes have outside walls blown away. F4 207 to 260 miles per hour. Devastating damage. Houses leveled, leaving piles of debris. Cars thrown 300 yards or more into the air. F5, 261 to 318 miles per hour. Incredible damage. Strongly built homes completely blown away. Automobile sized missiles generated. Wow, tornadoes can really do a lot of damage. How far can tornadoes travel? Most tornadoes travel a few miles, but extreme tornadoes can travel much further. Sometimes over a hundred miles for 161 kilometers. The tri-state tornado that traveled through parts of Missouri, Illinois and Indiana in 1925 left a path of destruction over 219 miles or 352 kilometers long. That is a massive distance. Imagine looking out your window to see a tornado coming in your direction. Terrifying! Where do tornadoes occur? The USA averages around 1,200 tornadoes every year, more than any other country. The majority of these tornadoes occur in a unique area nicknamed Tornado Alley. U.S. states most often hit by tornadoes include Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma and Florida. So there are no tornadoes in Europe? Well, there are, but not as many as in America and they are usually
absolutely not as powerful. Do you know that tornadoes can happen at any time of the year and at any time of the day? In the southern states, peak tornado season is from March through to May. Peak times for tornadoes in the northern states are during the summer. Tornadoes are most likely to occur between 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. So Aaron, where was the deadliest tornado? In 1989, the deadliest tornado ever recorded in the world killed around 1,300 people in Bangladesh. How do people survive this extreme weather? What do you do in a tornado? Before a tornado, have a disaster plan. Prepare a kit with emergency food for your home. Have enough food and water for at least three days. During a tornado, go to a basement. If you do not have a basement, go to a room without windows on the lowest floor. If you can, get under a sturdy piece of furniture like a table. Get out of cars. Do not try to outrun a tornado in your car. Leave it immediately. If you're outside, go to a ditch or a low-lying area and lie flat in it. If you are at school during a tornado, Every school should have a disaster plan and have frequent drills. Read it face. But that won't stop me from catching evil villains. Ha 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 ha. I can see the headlines. James, the incredible, invisible tornado, spins his 200 miles per hour. Multiple fortresses to catch the evil green grabber. Jim is you're getting carried away. Don't get too sucked into all this superhero stuff. Get it? Sucked into? Can you know sucking stuff up? Oh, Aaron, will you ever stop? Thanks for all the facts. I'm off to write my new comic strip. I can't wait to read about your adventures. Tornado to the rescue! Let's recap. Let's recap on what we've learned today about tornadoes. A tornado is a rapidly spinning tube of air. It starts at the base of a thunderstorm and reaches all the way down to the Earth's surface. Tornadoes are normally formed from thunderstorms. When warm, moist air and cool, dry air meet. A supercell thunderstorm is the largest, most severe type of thunderstorm. The Fujita scale is a common way of measuring the strength of tornadoes. An extreme tornado can travel very far, over 100 miles sometimes. Tornadoes normally occur in an area nicknamed Tornado Alley. If you're in school during a tornado, crouch down on your knees and cover your head with your arms. Here are some words that are going to help you think about tornadoes. Tornado, cyclone, thunderstorm, spin. I really hope you enjoyed learning all about tornadoes. We hopefully will see you soon. I hope you enjoyed learning with us today. We will see you soon.